thank you for your patience too. Here's my frenzy. Getting, yeah. getting around as I saw <laughs> people, and I'll right. do my best. Hope you asked something it. about the Palestinian issue because no one said anything about the Palestinian issue. That's the Please. point. Please. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, welcome yeah. back to oh, Washington, yeah, yeah. Mike. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Uh, uh, it is. It is really a statement of the time, and it's nevertheless fascinating that you went through the whole discourse of yours without really mentioning much about the Palestine-Israel conflict, even omitting the only part of uh, the U.S. policy that is intensely engaged in the Middle East at this time with uh, negotiations over Palestine-Israel. Now that you're out of office and free to speak your mind, you've done some, uh, some of that and I noticed, but would you, would you care to tell us what kind of an advice you would give the present Israeli government, not the American government, as to how best to maneuver from now on? Mm -hmm. Well, let me say that, uh, first of all, it's, it's great to see you again. Um, I mentioned that, that the, the inability uh, of the United States to bring about a resolution of the Israel-Palestine uh, conflict, uh, or even aspects of it. The, I know that the Palestinians were particularly um, frustrated with the inability of the administration to uh, maintain the, the settlement freeze back of, uh, in 2010. Um, has also impaired America's influence and created, helped and contributed to the image of a uh, waning Pax Americana in the Middle East. Uh, that I did mention. Um, what I would recommend to the Israeli government, I think the Israeli government is uh, avoid, um, avoid policy steps that would, uh, that would uh, impair Israel's image, uh, not just in the Middle East, but in the world uh, and among segments of uh, the American uh, public opinion, um, to do the utmost, to try to exhaust all diplomatic options uh, to try to achieve peace with the Palestinian. Um, and um, if that fails, to consider uh, measures in the event of an inability of both sides to reach a negotiated permanent two-state solution, to think about ways in which of altering the status quo, uh, perhaps even unilaterally. Alas, unilateralism has gotten a bad name since the Israel's withdrawal from Gaza in 2005, and to a large extent uh, legitimately uh, acquired bad name. There were many mistakes made back then. But uh, that doesn't mean that if uh, Palestinian leaders, and I think that they have to make some immensely painful concessions. I in no ways minimize the concessions that Palestinians have to make. Israel has to make major concessions and take risks. Um, if that proves incapable, I think that uh, Israel can take measures that will um, minimize the damage to its international, um, uh, its reputation, uh, maintain Israel's identity as a democratic and Jewish state, and um, also enable us to protect ourselves in case the situation in the Middle East, in, in, the, in the West Bank or elsewhere, uh, further deteriorates. 